Big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the newsletter and everybody who has purchased an ebook. This is a gift to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. It is the Houston, Texas mini scheme that I run. Um, it is my second favorite playbook next to the Atlanta God playbook. So I just want to tell you guys that. Let's start off by showing my depth chart. I am running with the Patriots. I like the Patriots offense using this format, using this scheme. I'm sorry. Quarterback should be obvious. Um, a running back I run with Stevon Ridley because he's pretty fast. Um, he gets the job done. His catching is a little suspect, but um, everything else he's really good at. Um, ben Jarvis Green Ellis is just too slow. I put Ben Jarvis Green Ellis in for a short yardage situation. Now at fullback, I have Danny Woodhead with Kevin Falk backing him up, and um, I'll go into more detail about that later. Now at wide receiver, I got Ocho and Taylor Price because I love tall wide receivers. Third string, I got Wes Welker and then Julian. Elderman, I believe that's his name, at fourth wide receiver. Um, and four, five, and six, pretty much, in, um, we don't use that much in this scheme. So you can just play around with four, five, and six if you want to. And at tight end, we got Gronkowski. Now we're taking a look at my um, audibles for this Houston scheme. And these are my audibles. I have the counter weak, strong close, quick toss, strong close, wide trail. Then we have the Texans drag out of the ace close and the bench out of the Texas out of the tight double zone. Sorry, tight double zone. And tight double zone is the uh, main play, main formation that we're going to be coming out in. So let's get right to this scheme, guys. Um, we're only going to be coming out in roughly probably three or four different plays um, throughout this scheme. You can do whatever you want, but um, I mainly come out in these three plays, starting out as my base. Then I use my audibles to adjust. All right, it is, like I said, it's the Texas Fork. And on off on defense, we're just going to come out in something um, random. Oh, I made one big mistake that I wanted to show you guys. Wow, that was terrible. Making mistakes already. Okay, um, before we go into the tight double zone formation, make sure you package in the regular make sure it says regular and when you when we do this it puts the fullback at a wide receiver that's why we have Danny Woodhead as a fullback because he goes out as a wide receiver and um and the play, like I said the play we come out in is Texas Fork take a look at one other thing at the bottom right hand side this works great for online games um, if you look at it it shows 2-2-1 two, two, um, the strong close formation is a 2-2-1 two, two, and um, pretty much everything, our base play that we come out in is going to be a 2-2-1. Two, two, so our opponent has no idea if we're going to be in shotgun, strong close, or um, whatever formation. It's, he's just going to have to guess. And this frustrates the defense. I don't, I don't know how many times that I've been busting people with this um, defense. So we're just going to come out and let's start off playing man coverage, showing you man beaters. Um, with a tight double zone, a simple motion to the outside receivers to the sideline will um, beat any kind of motion bump so let's say we got Ocho Cinco and they're playing bump and run just motion him to the sideline and hike before he sets passing the ball like so um, this works a whole lot better to the right hand side for that particular route um, you just motion to the right hike before he sets and he will cut back sort of like it's like the comeback route um, he stops on a dime and he cuts back to the side, cuts back to the middle of the field, just wide open every single time. And then you just run up field, look for yardage. That, so you got two unbumpables to the right hand side. Now let's continue on with the play breakdown. If it's man coverage, I'll slant in the inside receivers, the LB and the A receiver, um, and drag the X receiver, like so. Um, if I'm not going to do the, um, it depends on which side I'm going to do the unbumpable um, with. Um, so let's say I'm doing the unbump on the B side, then I'll streak the X receiver like so. Um, and he's my last read, the streak. So let's say he's in man coverage. And let's say that B receiver is actually covered. Then I'll look for my slants, and that time the A receiver was wide open for the slant. Um, the LB receiver was open too against man coverage. So I look, look for the B receiver, the unbump, then I go right to my slants. And as you can see there, both of them was, were wide open. Um... If it's zone, let's go to a zone real quick. Cover three. If I see zone, basically what you want to do is 
streak oh I did that wrong let me go back what you want to do is streak the LB receiver and streak the B receiver um, just like so and redrag the X receiver and what you want to do is motion Ocho Cinco to the right and when he splits his legs open like he's about to run to the right hand side that's when you hike the ball just like so and you look for Ocho he's our first read over the middle he actually dropped that ball for whatever reason um, let's try that again you also have the LB receiver on the streak pass down lead pass lead down into the inside and catch at the same angle you also have the um, a receiver versus zone he is another good read this is the cover three like I said now we're looking for the A receiver A receiver A receiver and he's wide open versus zone now cover four let's say this particular guy's in a purple this time he's in a cover four to that side um, the A receiver may be covered but the X receiver running the underneath drag will be open like so picks up about two or three yards right there so Here's another great read versus um, zone coverage. So this one particular play has man beaters and zone beaters in it. Now we're moving on to our next pass play, which is the deep pass, quick audible. And um, I think they call this the Texans cross in this particular uh, formation. I know it as the Falcons cross. Uh, either way, it's the same um, play. Now for man coverage, if they're playing man bump and run, what you want to look for is the... Um, you slant out the A receiver and streak the B receiver and you look for the A receiver to be wide open on a man assignment switch and then if that's um, covered you look for the X receiver to get open when he cuts up field so let's take a hike here as you can see there the X receiver was I mean um, um, the fullback sometimes the fullback the running back runs his route into that so let's see if I can get it out better this time like the ball there we go so we just have to look if that if, if it's tight like that I wouldn't I wouldn't um, throw it like the um, play before last where it got tipped I will move on to my other reads so let me show you this X receiver when to throw the ball to him as soon as he cuts up field boom plants his cleats in like that just passing the ball and that's against man coverage then our drag route you can do whatever you want to with him. You can put him on a um, you can put him on a curl route if you want to. Um, that's what I that's what I normally do. Put him on a curl route if he's in if his man coverage because um, he has no other route to interfere with that curl route. So his man coverage right here. Um, actually, I hit the wrong button there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That normally does not happen, um, especially for curl routes. Anyway, like that. Not sure what happened. I guess that was just great defense. As soon as he plants his curl, there we go. That's normally how a curl route is um, plays against man coverage. Now, if they go to zone, um, you can still get this pass in versus zone. This A receiver should still get open. Has a nice flood concept. But if I see zone, I would streak the wide receiver instead of um, putting him on a curl route. Um, all the other adjustments are still the same. So let's say this is cover three, We're looking for the A receiver, A receiver and he's wide open now um, let's say he goes to, he, he's running a cover four um, the A receiver will be taken away but now you have the streaks the B receiver and the wide receiver pass lead down into the inside catch the ball at the same angle now um, let me show you this B receiver gets open as well this streak If I can call the right play, geez. Set it up. As you can see here, it's going to be more of a tight read, as you can see there. Um, Taylor Price just dropped the ball. And um, if you're playing with the Patri Patriots and Taylor Price is dropping the ball, um, just take him out the game and put um, Alderman in there. Or um, you can put a tight end in there, but your um, your numbers are going to be um, different. It's going to say one two two instead of two two one if you put a tight end and wide receiver. So keep that in mind. Um, our final play is the run. So keep keep these guys honest and always fly protect aggressive for run plays. Um, just for I don't know if it does anything, but that's just what I do. And this just to keep your defense honest um, to respect the run. Um, you don't look take it to the house or anything. You just look to pick up about two or three yards every time. So as you can see here, 
running the ball with Ridley, he gets about two or three yards. So that rounds out that formation. Um, so we're moving on to our next formation, and that is the um, ace close. And what we want to do, uh, we always come out in the tight double zone, then we just audible down to the ace close. Um, to set up the quick pass to the tight ends, we streak them both. And uh, as soon as we hike the ball, we look for either one of them to be open. I'm looking at the LB to be open as my first read. So hike the ball. And as you can see there, that is, that is literally a hike and throw. And that was against man coverage. Against zone coverage, um, it gets open even more. Um, you just have to make the right read. If you make the wrong read, read it may get picked. So as you see there, Danny Woodhead took it for um, about 15, 20 yards right there. Gronkowski does get open, but it's like I said, it's you just have to make the read. Sometimes they play that a little bit tighter than normal. So um, look the pass, look the throw, look your throw into the pass or whatever, or whatever the way they say that. Now uh, the rest of the setup, let's say they're in man coverage. You have some unbumpable routes in this one too. Basically, all you do, you use the same kind of unbumpable concept from the tight double zone as the ace close and that's just motion the guy to the outside hike the ball before he is before he set and look to throw him the ball for the unbumpable route just um, put him you can put him back on a drag or you can just leave him as is just motion him to the outside hike the ball as you see there picks up about five yards for the um, unbumpable route now if they go to if they are in man coverage and they try to do bump and run or something of that nature what you want to do is slant in both of your tight ends, um, block the halfback, of course. And um, let's say I'm running the unbump to the right hand side, the opposite side wide receiver, I would streak. So in this case, it'll be the X receiver. So I motion this guy out. And let's say the unbump is taken away. I'll look for my slants, the A, the A receiver and the LB receiver. Both the tight ends, because they're on the line of scrimmage, will not get bumped. So keep that in mind. Let's say I run it to the left hand side this time and he's in man coverage. Um, tries to go bump and run here. Let's say that um, unbumpable route is taken away. Look for the dual slant routes to get open versus man. Now against the zone, let's say we're in cover three zone. Go back down to the ace close. Um, what you want to do if you see zone is streak the X receiver slant out and streak the um, A receiver and this looks like the bench play from the tight double zone ah I, I forgot to break down that play out of tight double zone so I will be going back to that in just a few minutes this is cover three here A receiver is wide open um, versus um and your your reads are when you go down in this play out of zone is the A receiver and the LB receiver they just get just crazy open versus zone coverage as you can see here, the LB receiver is just wide open. You got a fluky tip right there. Um, that normally does not happen. So I don't expect him to tip this two times in a row. Or I may trade this game in if he does. Okay, so that's just what happens there. Um, also, you got these, like I said, you got these streak routes versus. Um, let's, also, another read you can do if he goes man is um, streak the LB and the A receiver and slant in the outside receivers this time also block the halfback this is against man coverage and then we look for the streaks sometimes if he's in a cover zero or have no safety help the streak the streaks um, by the tight ends will get open for the deep ball um, if neither one of them are open then you look for your slants by the outside wide receivers now let's go back down in this play and a new and a concept that hasn't been discussed I don't, well that I haven't seen been discussed yet is um, utilizing this fullback so what we want to do let's say we motion the fullback I mean the running back to the right hand side what we want to do when he sets put him on a fade route and he gets underneath every single zone this has to be manually covered um, if Brady throws the ball right geez that was terrible so let's see if we can get a better pass this time and if you do it before he sets, he will go back to a drag route. So do it um, after he sets. So let's see if we can get it here. As you can see there, I picked up about four or five. Well, that's roughly about three or four yards there. Um, 
this is against zone coverage so if you see them in zone you can do this concept right here and this works versus um, man this works to either side so let's say we're going to the left hand side this time um, put him back on a fade here when the ball is high make sure he clears the line before you throw oh it's terrible um, see if I can get it this time motion this guy out to the left like so when he clears and there we go you may have to pass Lee down um, so he won't overthrow the ball Let's see if I can do it one more time let's see I, I, let's see if I can get this back to back I mean I don't understand what's up with Brady tonight he is just stinking it up for me oh, I was in man coverage that time but as you can see there against man coverage he still got open so that is a great concept um, that I like to use as well with the ace close um, so make sure you guys tune in to part two for the rest of the scheme.